In this video, I'm going to show you how you can basically migrate a bulk blog post from one website to another. So in this case, you can see I have a source website that have 1550 blog posts and all of these blog posts also have custom fields attached using ACF. Now I want to migrate these blog posts to another website which is a new version of this website that I have been working on for the client. I have came across a lot of problems and finally I was able to solve it and now I am recording this video to help you solve any kind of these problems. So first of all if you are using ACF what you actually have to do is to use a plugin. For that you can just go to plugin section right there and once you will go to the plugin section then just click here where it says search plugin and search for WP all export. Now this plugin has a free version as well as the premium version and if you are someone who is using ACF and have custom field attached to your blog post or you have custom post type here then you might want to purchase their premium version this is not any kind of sponsored video or I am not attached in any ways to them I am just letting you know if you are using ACF and you are using custom field or custom taxonomies or custom post types then in that case you will have to buy WP All Export Pro in my case I have bunch of custom fields attached to the post section so what I will do is to simply click on install now and in order to export the data of the custom fields that I am using with the ACF I will actually use WP All Export Pro all right for that what i am actually going to do is to click on this add new plugin and from here i'll just click on upload plugin and as i told you i'm going to use the wp all export pro so here's what i'm going to install it by clicking install now as i click on install now this is getting installed and once it will get installed we can just click on activate plugin and it will get activated so once it will get activated you will find a new option all export from here just click on new export and once you will click on the new export it doesn't matter if you are using the free plugin or the premium version the process remains the same you just have to click on new export here you can see it says specific post type from here just click on choose a post type and select posts and once you will click on post you will find something like this as I showed you I have 1550 blog posts so here I can just click on migrate posts and once you will click on migrate posts this will bring you another option and now in here it is basically giving you a lot of different option I, I have found out that by default whatever they have selected works best so I'm not going to alter any of these things and then from here just click on save and run export and once you click on save and run export this will basically start compiling all of those blog posts into a CSV file now you will have to wait this actually depends on your server the hosting that you are using your internet connection and a couple of other things but here in my case you can see it is going somewhat fast so we'll just wait and here it will give you the real time progress of how many posts has been added into the csv once it is done you will find a file here now here you can see it is basically compiling and now in here you have a couple of options you can either download a csv or you can download a bundle if by any chance you have got the wb all import pro as well then you can choose the bundle but if you haven't got the wb all import and you only have wb all export then in that case just click on csv and once you will click on csv it will basically export the csv file that will have the information of all the blog posts or all of the custom posts that you have into your wordpress now in here you can see this is basically downloading it so we'll have to wait until it will get downloaded all right here you can see it has been downloaded and it has the size of 50 mb and this is a csv file if i click on it here you can see it has this first column that basically specify all of the different kind of fields that i have been using now that i have confirmed that i have the csv file we can basically go to our target website you can call it the source website because this is the place from where we are getting all of our blog posts or the custom fields then we need to go to the target website so let me just go to the target website all right so here you can see this is my target website so in this website if i go to the plugins section right here you can see i have the wp all export 
pro which is something i don't need so i'm just going to deactivate and delete it because we are not going to use it and then i have elementor and elementor pro and then i also have advanced custom fields in the advanced custom fields what i actually did that and to my source website in in my source website what i actually did is selected toggle all and then i exported it as a json so I basically exported all of the post types and the field groups that I had. Then in this target website, I have already imported all of them. And if I go to the post section, or basically if I just show you the field group, you can see I have a few field types attached to this post. And this is what we are actually going to do. So now you can just go to the plugin section right here. And once you will go there, just click on add new plugin. And in here, you actually have to search for WP Ultimate CSV Importer. This is the plugin that we are going to use and this is from Smack Coders. I have already tried WP All Import Pro as well and for some reason in my SiteGround hosting I was getting errors and I was not able to import this and that was a big hassle. To, in order to avoid that problem then at the last resort I have tried this plugin and this plugin worked like magic. Now again if you are using ACF fields on your website in that case you will have to buy the pro premium version of this plugin but if you are someone who is not using ACF and you only have the blog post the simple blog post it doesn't matter how many you have in the CSV you can simply use this so what I already did is I have downloaded and installed this plugin here and here you can see this is installed now what you actually have to do is to go to this plugin import custom fields this is the option that you will get just click on this and once you will click on this it will actually start loading now you will have to wait until it will get loaded and now in here you can see it says upload from computer you can just select browse this is the file the csv file that we have downloaded you can just select it and then just click open and once you will click open it will automatically start getting uploaded Alright, so here you can see my file is uploaded and in here it will ask you whether it is a fresh import or you want to update the content. Well, this is a fresh import and I'm going to use post and then from here you can just click on continue and once you will click on continue in here you will have to map the fields based on the CSV. So here you can see it says title from here just click select and in my drop down in the CSV that I have exported from my source website. I have a column that have a title that have a name as title so I'm going to select that and next thing I have to do is to select the content so I'll click here and then I'll select content next up we have short description which is actually post excerpt so I'm going to choose the excerpt here next thing we have is published date then we'll choose the date here next thing we have the slug which is where we'll have to find the slug so slug is something that you'll find at the bottom so I'll choose the slug Next up we have author. For the author I'll choose the author name. So author username. And then we have a status. So for the status I'll choose the status from here. This is status. And then you have featured image. For the featured image you'll have to pick the image featured. So I'll choose the image featured and then you have format. For the format you can just scroll down and then pick format from here. And then you have comment status. Maybe you'll have a lot of comments. So you can just pick the field of comment status from there. And then you have ping status. You can just scroll down and find the ping status from here and pick it. And then you have tra track option in the same way you can find the track. Next up we have ACF fails. Again, as I was telling you, this will only work if you have the pro version. But if you don't have it and you are not using ACF field on your website, you can just use the free version and it will work just fine. You can see it have automatically selected all of the custom fields that I have under the post using the ACF. So it have already selected that and I am fine with that. Next up we have Elementor field and it have selected all the Elementor field that I needed. And then for the featured image meta, I need to find the fields. So here you can see it says featured image title. So just click on this select. And here you will find image title, just select it. And next up we have caption. For that just choose image caption. Next we have alt text, just click here. And then pick image alt text and then we have description you might not find description if you find it just click on image description and then we have a file name you can pick a file name if you want to i don't have a file name in here then we have 
terms and taxonomies taxonomies are basically the categories for your blog post so here you can see it says category and it says post category just click select and from here you will have to choose these categories and then for the post tags you will have to pick tags that's it nothing else that i want to do but if in your case you have more custom fields you can basically create them here once done you can just click on this continue button right here and once you click on continue button it will ask you if you want to use media images if already available then make sure you select that if if not you can basically choose always create as new image other than that you don't have to select any other thing just click start import and once you click on start import it will basically start importing them and here you can see one percent is already completed so now you will basically have to wait until it will start doing its work it will take a lot of time because i have a lot of log posts in some cases it will skip them but then it will import it back so now if we'll go to the post option right there there you can see it has already imported the 35 blog posts from here now i can go back you can see two percent three percent already completed so in this way you can basically export and import any number of blog posts or any number of custom fields from one website to another website without any problem if you find this tutorial helpful be sure to hit the subscribe button i have ton of other videos on my channel you can go watch that and if you have any questions you can always contact me on whatsapp thank you very much i'll see you in the next video